Господине Вакнин, албански соништо, македонски кошмар. Вака е насловена вашата последна анализа. Кои се соништата, што е кошмарот? In the relationships between Macedonians and Albanians in Macedonia, I think there are two problems. One is the Albanian view of the relationship, and one, of course, is the Macedonian view of the relationship. The Albanians regard the Republic of Macedonia as a partnerships, be, partnership between co-equal ethnicities. They believe that since this is a political and economic partnership, they can renegotiate the partnership, redefine the partnership, and if necessary, dismantle the partnership and go their own way. Additionally, because the partnership is between ethnicities, Albanians demand rights not as individuals, but as members of the Albanian ethnicity. So an Albanian would not say, you know, I uh, I'm a good student, I deserve a job. An Albanian would say, I'm an Albanian, I deserve a job. Now the problem with this is that history shows that when countries, when states are founded on an agreement between two ethnicities, between collectives, these states don't survive long, they disintegrate. An example is Lebanon. An example is India and Pakistan. An example right now is Israel. And even, I would say, Belgium and Canada. Whenever ethnicities negotiate the fundamentals of the state, the state disintegrates. So the Albanians are going the wrong way. Instead of demanding rights as individuals on the basis of merit, they extort, they blackmail the state on the basis of their belonging to a specific ethnicity. This is the Albanian side. The Macedonian side is equally problematic. Macedonians regard the Republic of Macedonia as the realization of a century-old dream. They regard the Republic of Macedonia as what is left of a greater uh, territory. And their concept of Macedonia is that of a 19th century nation state, where the country or the state consists of a homogeneous majority, ethnic majority, with ethnic minorities which are treated as guests or outsiders. Now this, this vision of the state was good when Greece was established in the 1820s, uh, but it is not good in today's Europe. It does not conform to today's European vision. The European vision of the 21st century is that nations are cultural, historical entities, not anymore political entities. Borders are no longer important. Historical experience again shows that nations who insisted to have 19th century mentality ended up having to change their borders. So, both the Albanians and the Macedonians, in their own way, undermine the foundations of the Republic of Macedonia, each for a completely different reason, each in its own way, but this is the, the net outcome. На една недела сме до локалните избори, во кои влегуваме со подигане на тим меѓуетнички тензии. Затоа допридонесува многу изјавите на градоначалникот, кандидатот за градоначалник на Кичево Фатмир Дехари, подпредседателот на ДУИ Изет Меджити, но за албанците и говорот на премиерот Никола Груевски. Како очекувате да поминат овие избори? I think the, the elections will pass peacefully and, and they will be relatively fair, relatively fair and relatively democratic, I don't foresee any, any serious unrest. And the reason is that internal political developments in Macedonia are determined and dictated by the international community, not by local politicians. And the international community sent a very clear signal a week or two ago when, when Füle was here with the delegation and so on. The international community sent a very clear signal that these elections must go forward, that everyone must participate, that they should be peaceful, the results should be accepted, and they should be relatively fair. Since there is no internal politics in Macedonia, all internal politics are dictated by external forces. Macedonia, in effect, is a protectorate, not a state. Since this is the case, then I think the elections will go as the European Union wish, wishes them to go. Освен ови прашања Македонија има уште едно сериозно отворено прашање кое ја кочи во интеграцијата кон ЕУ и НАТО, тоа е проблемот со Грција за името. Очекувате ли некакво предвижување на Новое спори, него скоро затворение. The weaker Greece is, the deeper Greece sinks into a crisis, economic or otherwise. The, the worse are the prospects for the solution of the name issue. 
Only a strong Greece can reach an agreement with Macedonia about the name issue. Macedonian glee, Macedonian joy and happiness that Greece is collapsing is complete, a complete misreading of the situation. Macedonians should have been very sad and sorry that Greece is collapsing because this means that the resolution of a name issue will be postponed indefinitely and with it Macedonians EU accession and NATO accession. Поради овие политички прашања што ги имаме проблеми, никако економијата да дојде на дневен ред во државата. Македонија е една од најсиромашните држави во Европа. Долги години ги следите економските процеси во држава. Како во моментов ја оценувате економската состојба? Економија е not bad, is not good, it's in complete stagnation. It is stepping in place, it's in place. Foreign direct investments have dried up, essentially. What we have is replacements of equipment and so on. Some foreign investors are considering to withdraw completely from Macedonia. The Macedonia's problem is not uh, its economy. Macedonia's problem is its geopolitics. The people are escaping from Macedonia, including Macedonians, but also foreigners, because they don't see any prospects. They don't see Macedonia integrating with the EU. They don't see Macedonia becoming an integral part of the region. They see the relationships deteriorating with Albanians, so Kosovo and Albania are out as markets. Serbia is Serbia, you know, it's going its own way, and the integration with Macedonia is less and less. And, and uh, as long as Macedonia does not become an integral part of Europe, of Europe, it is not an interesting country, economically. And this is the source of the, of the problem. Macedonia is a country alone, does not have a, critically, uh, a critical mass of internal market. The internal market is too small, cannot support an economy. Macedonia is not a viable economic entity. It may be a viable political entity, which is also open to question, but it's definitely not a viable economic entity without integration with all the neighbors and with all of Europe, European Union, and then with, with the world, Asia maybe. But Macedonia is so preoccupied with internal conflicts and, and external problems like Greece, that in the last three years at least, it made no, no progress, no steps forward. The economy in Macedonia consists of the government. The main economic player in Macedonia is the government. The government employs directly more than 100,000 people and indirectly another 100,000 people. That's one third of the workforce. The, government, uh, the government's budget is 50 plus percent of gross domestic product of GDP. The government is the biggest hire, the biggest uh, job creator in, in Macedonia. There is no economy in Macedonia. There's only government. And what's happening in Macedonia is the government is taking money, recycling it, giving it back to the people. The people are giving it back to the government. And everyone is happy because there is a promet, <laughs> you know. But it's a delusion. It's an optical illusion. If you take the government out of the economy, nothing much is left. And even the private sector in Macedonia indirectly or directly works for the government through municipalities, through contracts, through tenders, through 